Hi, I'm Marcus Bronzy. This is How To Kill An Hour. And today, I'm on staycation. In 2021, Ford announced a new flavor of camper van that promised to be your home away from home. Ford said whether you were exploring new places or rediscovering old favorites, it would get you there in comfort and style. They also called it the Ford Transit Custom Nugget. Now, I love nuggets, but will I like Ford's nugget? Well, we got a chance to answer that question when Ford sent us one, and we went on a good old staycation. The Nugget is Ford's version of a Volkswagen California, which has a pretty strong reputation as a camper van. The Nugget comes in two types, the L1 and the L2, with the big difference between them being that the L2 has a toilet on it. Prices start at £59,000 with no bog and £62,000 with a bog. I would think in 2021 the current world situation would mean that the L2 is probably a model that would be much more popular. You don't have to share your toilet with anyone. With that being said, we are taking the version without the loo on the road, the L1. The toilet on the back makes the L2 a little bit longer. To clarify, the L1 is 497 centimeters long and the L2 is 534. Whilst we're talking about size, they are both 197 centimeters wide and 206 centimeters tall. That's why to help us get around when I'm driving, we are using the TomTom Go camper. Why aren't you just using Google Maps, I hear you ask? Well, the reason is, is because the vehicle that I'm driving is a lot bigger than a regular car. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck on a little country road while I'm on my travels, or before I even get out of the city that I live in, get stuck at a width restriction. Now, Google Maps doesn't currently have the features that allow you to choose a route that suits a big vehicle. Whereas with the TomTom Go, you can input the length, width, and height of your vehicle and you get a customized route just for your vehicle's dimensions, weight, and even maximum speed. Cheers for that, TomTom. And our TomTom is powered by a micro USB cable that plugs into the front of your dashboard, or if you've got a slightly older camper van, it will plug into the cigarette lighter. That leads us on to Fusite, who gave us this three-in-one charging lead that has a bunch of magnets on it that make packing it away a doddle. Also, you can switch between a lightning charger, USB-C and micro USB with its magnetized adjustable connectors. This is a great device and it's very satisfying when you snap it together. I would, however, like there to be some sort of bag or cap connected that enables you to store all of the spare connectors because I think they're going to get lost pretty easily on my road trip if I can't keep them all in one place. So, with prices starting at £59,000, what do you get for your money? Let's start with the lounge setup. The front seats of the Nugget rotate to face the rear ones to create an indoor lounge space, which seats five and has a table. I'm six foot three and I managed to fit in all of the seats quite easily. The table is big enough for you to throw some sandwiches on, but not a full three course meal. And the doors on either side of the Nugget open up, which is convenient for a bit of extra legroom and also great for letting the breeze through on a warm day. And if it gets darker, there's also some ambient lighting inside to light up the lounge setup, which is nice. If you aren't up for board games and the family prefers screen time, there is also an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, which up to 10 devices can connect to. There is a 12 volt cigarette port, but it would also be nice if there was some extra USB ports that were in closer vicinity to the lounge area. We'll get back to the Nugget in just a bit, but let's crack on with some of the stuff I've brought with us to help us enjoy our staycation. First off, thank you to Rad Union who provided us with a trolley for us to put all of our staycation gadgets in. Rad Union trolleys are made by hand and not by robots in their lead space studio. Every element is ethically sourced, from the steel frame and rubber wheels to the biodegradable bubble wrap used to protect the parcels that they send you the bag in. Each trolley is fully customizable. You just choose your bag, frame, and wheel color. And if you change your mind, you can interchange the bags. Their trolleys also feature these nifty hooks, which can be clipped onto a shopping trolley and be pushed around with ease. Each trolley has 35 liters capacity and can hold up to 20 kilograms in weight, which is enough for my staycation toys. Staycation security. With all of the best intentions, you want to be safe when you are out and about, and there are a couple of ways you can tip the balance in your favor. The Master Lock Safe Space is a handy little combination mini safe that you can put your valuables in. It's hard wearing and tough, plus you 
can connect it to something solid. This makes it a little harder for people to get their hands on your goods. Masterlock also have a padlock with a biometric scanner on it. And this makes it very easy for you to get to your bits quickly, but slightly harder for any potential thieves to. Toys. If I'm in the great outdoors, I want some outdoor toys that don't require electricity. Now, the moon ball is a very bouncy ball with slightly uneven sides, which is fun to bounce on the floor. I reckon, though, this is probably perfect for a game of fetch with a dog or maybe even the kids. The Stomp Rocket is 100% child powered, or in my case, overgrown child powered, and basically uses the power of your weight to fire a rocket into the air. It comes with three rockets which behave slightly differently. One is designed to glide away, the other does a loop de loop, and the other one twists a move randomly. It's a very, very simple idea, and something that we all had loads of fun with the Staycation Kitchen. My favourite part of anywhere I'm staying is where the food is made. The kitchen area is located towards the back of the nugget and has a few cool tricks. It has a two burner gas hob with a splash guard on it to protect the curtains which are in close vicinity. And as for your dirty plates, there is a mixer tap with hot and cold water. There's a mains plug and cigarette lighter output for any other kitchen tools that you may want to hook up. There's also a 40 litre chest fridge for perishables or in my case, beers. I think I found most of the storage and cubby holes of which there are a fair amount. So the kitchen on the nugget does quite a lot. The only thing that it doesn't do is stop me from giving myself food poisoning with my dodgy cooking. That's why I bought along this. This is the Meter Plus, a wireless food thermometer. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth and lets you know when your meat or fish reaches a properly cooked temperature. We used this with some steaks and found that it actually worked really, really well. This is something that I definitely will be packing when I go on staycations and probably be using at home to make sure that when I cook food, it's correctly cooked in the middle. After you've done your cooking, of course, you need to wash up. And I think it's worth clarifying that there are points for water and electric hookup on the nugget. And it has a tank which you can fill up with 42 litres of fresh and a 42 grey tank, aka dirty water tank. Grey water when you're camping is basically dirty water. Grey water can be released by pulling a lever in the kitchen and it's pretty cool because it makes it look like your nugget is doing a wee. But don't just release it out on the floor. Please check on the rules at your campsite so you can properly dispose of your grey water. Water. Yes, you can put 42 litres of water into your nugget, but it's surprising how much you can go through. Also, Ford recommend that you do not drive around with more than 11 litres of water in the tank, so you need to make sure that you have a ready supply. So, presuming you're driving around with only 11 litres of water, it's worth having a backup. If you need extra water when you're camping, Hydropack have got you covered with the Expedition. It can be filled up with 8 litres of water, which should be enough to get you out of any sticky situations. It has a wide mouth plug and play cap for easy pouring, a flexible handle for carrying and a freestanding design with dual baffles for stability. Also, because it's a bag, when it's empty it can be folded down and stored away. And if you get really stuck for water and have to turn to a source that you are not sure is reliable, then I have another solution. The Life Straw. This lightweight gadget filters your water. It protects against 99.99999% of bacteria, including E. coli and Salmonella, 99% of parasites, including Giardia and Cryptosporidium, 99% of microplastics, and reduces sand, silt, and cloudiness. Some models even reduce lead in water. The key to the Life Straw is its microfilter. Life Straw's membrane microfilters are made of hollow fiber membrane technology, a similar technology used in kidney dialysis. It doesn't require any electricity, instead just the suction power of the person using it. The Life Straw cleans about 1,000 gallons or 4,000 liters of water. That's enough drinking water for an individual over five years. Handy, right? You also help the world when you have a Life Straw because when you buy a Life Straw, you also give one child one year of safe water. Things get messy one way or another when you're in a camper van, so we bought along some four-ply tissues from Tissue. They are also sustainably produced, made with fully recyclable packaging and give 10% of their profit to charity. So you can use a tissue and help the world at the same time. Plus, you can use the container as a carbon when you are finished. Staycation. Showering. All models of nuggets come with a shower head that connects to the open rear of the van. 
Unfortunately though, it does not provide hot and cold water, just cold. You're missing a trick there, Ford. After a cold shower though, you might want to dry off with a towel. And towels take up a lot of space, right? Well, that's not the case if you're using the Matador Nano Tri Towel. Tucked inside a silicone case that you can fit in one hand, this award-winning towel is over two times lighter than microfiber towels and packs down really small and tight, making it easy to bring anywhere. The nanofiber material also claims to absorb 2.3 times its own weight in water. Now, I love the idea of this towel and it was very good at drying off my face, but I'm a big lad. And this felt a little bit more like a tea towel, so perhaps there could be a model which is slightly bigger. I wouldn't mind having a nano towel that fitted in two hands and covered my whole body. Sleep. When it comes to sleeping in the nugget, you have two options because there are two beds in it. One can be located when you push the roof up to give you more space in the kitchen area. And the second is made by flattening the rear seats. The difference between the two beds is this. Whilst the mattress up top looks quite underwhelming, it's actually got some very smart slats underneath it which really support you and do feel like a bed. The downside of sleeping upstairs is that you've only got a thin layer of canvas which means you're not insulated against weather or sound. This can make for cooler nights or warmer mornings. Whilst the lower bed makes up for it a bit with regards to insulation from sound and weather, it does fall down when it comes to comfort. At the end of the day, you're using seats as a bed, which are just not as comfy as a mattress. If you're a bit of a snorer like me, then the snore mask from Burra might be something that is of interest. It has a little device on it that gives you a gentle pulsation to encourage you to change position after hearing you snore. That's right. If you let off a deep bassy snore, it gives you a little buzz to wake you up. Less of a bit of tech to help you with your snoring, more a more considerate device for others. Thank you for joining us here on our staycation at How To Kill An Hour. In summary, the Nugget is a great vehicle for helping you to camp with style, with a few more amenities and facilities which are very suitable in a world where we want to minimise contact with others that are outside of our social groups and bubbles. Whilst I think it will be a bit of a tight squeeze to have four people sleeping in it, maybe it's something that you could do for a few days and I definitely think it beats camping. Plus, once you're done, you can pack everything up and hit the road, perhaps to go to another location for a staycation or perhaps to go home. Don't forget, if you want more information about the Nugget or any of the tech that we have used in this video, we'll put links below. Also, we'll be discussing it on the How To Kill An Hour podcast as well. Please follow us on all social medias at How To Kill An Hour. I've been Marcus Brunzi. You can follow me at M-A-R-C-U-S-B-R-O-N-Z-Y. I'm on Insta, TikTok and Twitter as well. In the meantime, stay blessed.